President Biden has signed an executive order aimed at promoting more competition in the U.S. economy. But as CBS News correspondent Natalie Brand shows us, critics say the changes could stifle innovation. President Biden signed a sweeping executive order that he says will increase economic competitiveness in the U.S. Capitalism without competition isn't capitalism. It's exploitation. The order includes 72 directives or recommendations encouraging federal agencies to take action on a range of issues from airline baggage fees to selling hearing aids over the counter. It also takes aim at big business and tech by calling for a restoration in net neutrality rules, a ban on non-compete clauses, and greater antitrust enforcement. Rather than competing for consumers, they are consuming their competitors. Rather than competing for workers, they're finding ways to gain the upper hand on labor. Economists say the devil will be in the details, and some groups, including the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, are already pushing back, criticizing the administration's intervention. I think the administration has gotten the fundamental facts wrong, and it's leading them down a regulatory path. Neil Bradley of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce argues the executive order could make it harder for new businesses to get started. Heidi Shearholtz, a chief economist at the Labor Department during the Obama administration, argues the action will empower workers. Non-compete agreements suppress workers' wages, and so banning them will remove that wage-suppressing effect and actually increase workers' wages. But she notes, as with other executive orders, the federal agencies still need to make the changes, and that could take some time. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House. The order also takes aim at tech companies calling for greater scrutiny of mergers and new rules to curb data collection and surveillance.